Hello and welcome to Hank Games Out. Hank, my name is John Green. I'm the manager of the sixth place AFC Wimbledon Wimbley Wombly's finally into the playoff spots, taking on today Cardiff City in a stunning turn of events. It's raining in England. If we were playing in Cardiff, I would say it's raining in Wales, but we aren't. So it is indeed raining in England. As you can see, there's been a change at the back. Uh, Seb Brown gave up two goals on two shots, so I've benched him uh, just for the moment in favor of Amonkwa. Amonkwa, um, who's from the AFC Wimbledon Academy, who's been with AFC Wimbledon since he was eight years old. Um, he deserves his shot, uh, so he's going to get one. Um, as you can see, Cardiff City, one of the best teams in the championship, actually. Um, uh, yeah, they're very, very good. And uh, formerly uh, coached by Malky Mackay one of the most likably named characters in all of the world. John Green and John Green missing what will hopefully be their last match. Um, and yes. What am I talking about today, Meredith? Vaccinations. So uh, I don't know if you guys know this, because I can't remember if I've mentioned it in a Wimbly Wombly's video, but I recently had viral meningitis. Um, can't recommend any facet of it. Found it to be a very unlikable um, disease. Uh, but much, much better in every way, according to the experts in the statistics, than, viral, uh, than bacterial meningitis, which is fatal about 15% of the time and, uh, and, and, un and also causes severe disability and, and uh, brain injury and lots of other problems in, um, in people uh, and also and disproportionately affects young people, um, college students, preschool students, uh, lots and lots of people who, who um, you know, have, have wonderful long lives ahead of them and it's a real tragedy. Viral meningitis, um, not to make this about me, also blows, and I can't recommend any facet of that either, but oh yeah, Deanie! He listened to my advice. I said, do we have a song about Deanie yet, Meredith? No, we don't. We don't. We gotta work on that. He listened to my advice about not going out at night, and look where it got him. Nice near post headed goal. Deanie's beautiful head. Who? Deanie. I guess that's kind of the song. Uh, one side of the fans, one, one side of the stadium says, who? And then the other side says, Dini. It's good. It's not great. You know what I mean? I just feel like there's so many so pop songs about magic. Do you believe in magic? Uh, do, 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 do. Look at Kaz. Look at Kaz marauding. Nope. Nope. Kaz. And then he goes for an unnecessary slide tackle. Um, I love the word marauding, though. So uh, the nice thing about... Oh! Who? Deanie. Who? Deanie. Oh, man. You know, it's... What? They are cute. They love each other. Dicko and Deanie. They are truly a buddy comedy. It's funny because they're very different men. You know? They have very different values. They come from very different backgrounds, very different places. You know, Dicko, one of the very few professional soccer players who's, who attended any university. Um, very thoughtful, smart guy. Loves the classics. Deanie, not much for reading. Likes to, read, right, likes to read the occasional FHM, but doesn't enjoy, uh, doesn't enjoy the book-length work. Um, you know, likes to party. Dicko, no interest in partying whatsoever. Um, but, God, they're magic together on the field. Uh, they're just an odd couple. One of them's clean, one of them's dirty, one of them's serious, one of them's funny. But, man, on the football pitch, they are magic. It's man oh, look at that beautiful unnecessary slide tackle. I could not imagine a less necessary slide tackle. Uh, the great thing about bacterial meningitis is that there is a, uh, there is a vaccine for it now um, that has saved many, many, many lives um, and, um, and would save even more uh, if, it were, if it were more widely used. Um, and then, uh, then you have, uh, of course, diseases like smallpox, uh, which has been eliminated thanks to vaccines. You have diseases like polio, which is now in only a few countries, Pakistan, um, Nigeria, Afghanistan, um, and I, I think now, now, unfortunately, also in Syria. But that's been basically, you know, restricted to very small parts of the world thanks to vaccines. Um, you, you, vaccines have saved billions of human lives, which, um, you know, now some people would say like, oh, well, you know, it's led to overpopulation, which... Um, First off, no. Secondly, um, even if that, y y the truth is that when people, um, when, when people aren't losing their kids to uh, communicable diseases, they choose to have fewer children and, and population growth slows. It doesn't, it doesn't speed up. Um, 
so in, in every possible way uh, for, for the world economy, for the lives of individuals, for the lives of families and communities, um, uh, vaccines have been good. In fact, I think maybe one of the greatest uh, achievements in the history of the human species. Um, next to Kay St. Luce's cross that he's about to give to God. Joe! Oh! Offside! If you just... Look at this. If he just dodged the ball, if it, he just had the ball not hit him, it would have gone directly into the goal. But instead, he makes an incredibly good offside save there, Deeney. Um, not Deeney's best shining moment. That was going to be a great goal for, I think, Kaz, who desperately needs some action, um, both, in terms of, uh, both in terms of goals and other. Um, he, uh, was just, he was just, Kaz was just telling us about his trials and tribulations with his virginity, but that's another story. Um, I told him that virginity is a made-up concept and he should get over himself. Uh, can I get his foul, please? Can, I get, can you call that back? Because there was a foul. Oh. Anyway, um, they played the advantage so that I could kick the ball out of bounds. Um, yeah, vaccines have saved billions of, of human lives and, and, um, and have been one of the great, uh, I mean, I, I, I think a bigger public health success than, um, than antibiotics. I mean, the, the, probably the greatest public health success in the history of, of, of our species. Uh, these, these viruses that, um, that, 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 you know, were responsible for most, most deaths. Um, are now basically, you know, that we have we have much less to fear from them, um, and that goes for everything from you know, and then we have we we even have vaccines that can cut um, cut your risk of cancer. Uh, the HPV vaccine um, will will save many many lives um, uh, of people who otherwise would have died of um, of ovarian um, cancer or, or uterine cancer. Um, and these are, these are wonderful things to be celebrated. Uh, I, I think because vaccines are an active intervention, because it's something that, that we choose to do instead of something that feels passive, not doing anything. Um, there has been a lot of uh, sort of anti, anti-vaccine, or I think this is part of it. There's been a lot of anti-vaccine sort of narratives over, th over the years. Um, uh, anyone who's spent any time in the developing world, I think, it's it's very difficult to argue against measles vaccines and mumps vaccines and I mean these these are things that um, save you know if, if you see a kid die of of measles um, or you see a kid die of a, of a of a diarrheal illness that could be prevented by a rotavirus vaccine um, that costs three dollars and fifty cents and is perfectly safe uh, you you don't have a lot of sympathy for um, I'm, I'm in the middle of a very serious thing, Dini. Uh, you don't have a lot of sympathy for people who make arguments um, that vaccines are, are unsafe because, uh, <laughs> they, they, first off, they are safe. Secondly, rotavirus definitely isn't safe. Um, beautiful goal from Dini, by the way. Uh, and it's now 3 0. That was Dini's hat trick, and I talked over it instead of celebrating with him, and that's going to hurt his feelings. Probably going to have to get him a birthday cake to cheer him up. Or booze. Well, it'll be a booze-soaked birthday cake. He likes he likes the rum cake. Um, you know, you know, Deanie. He I find that he really likes rum drinks, which I just think is disgusting. Off topic. Um, I just find it it's so rich. Like he's always drinking like, you know, like pina coladas and stuff. I'm like, how do you stay in shape? He is a bigger he is a bigger gentleman as as professional footballers go. But I just I mean he's just yeah. He's not, I, I, I have to say, personally, I'm much more like Dicko. You know, like if I were going to have, if I were going to choose to have dinner with someone, I would choose to have dinner with Dicko. In fact, this week I'm going to have dinner at Dicko's house with, uh, with his wife and kids, which I'm excited about. Because his kids are about the same age as I am. Like, I just feel like Dicko and I have very similar lives. Whereas Dini, you know, like that's, a, that's, that's, I never really had his life. But in, insofar as I did, it was in my early 20s. To be fair, Dini's only 23. So like, of course, you know, he's out there. Doing, doing fun stuff. Leonardo Mora, by the way, is exhausted. Can't get back on defense. Leonardo Mora can't. Oh, man, that's tough to see. Leonardo Mora really suffering defensively. Um, he just doesn't seem to have the speed. That's, that's, that's a shame. But he, he, what we need is speed. We have a need for speed on our team. So we're going to bring in Buckminster Fuller there. We're also going to, um, now that Dini has his hat trick, we're going to take off Dini and Dicko. 
And we're going to bring on, maybe for the last time as Wimbley Womblies, these boots were made for Strutton and Green Eggs and Sheringham, who've been such an important part of our, um, of our success as Wimbley Wombly uh, supporters. But uh, at the same time, both they both want to move on. Um, they've, I'm sorry, Leonardo Mora, but you had a nice uh, – that's a Mora had a really good game back from injury – uh, but he just was slowing up a lot there at the end, and we can't we can't afford that. So we're going to make all three substitutions at once, like the pros do, and um, uh, and see how it goes. Uh, Green eggs and sharing ham, and we and um, and these boots were made for Strutton. Both uh, came to me and requested uh, transfers in the last couple weeks because they aren't playing um, because of the astonishing success of Dini and Dicko, the 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 amazing, wonderful. And they're, they're very happy for Dini and Dicko, but they also they need to be playing football if they're going to be professional football players. And I, I am sympathetic to that. And, um, you know, I understand that this is a, a business as well as a family. So uh, if they want to move on, they're certainly welcome to. Now, they'll always have a home at the Wimbley Wombleys until and unless they don't play football anymore. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Everything worked out better than expected. Amonqua, Amonqua, AFC Wimbledon uh, uh, Academy graduate. With a beautiful save there. That was very, that was Amonqua esque. I, you gotta say, that was reminiscent of when Seb Brown saved two penalties against Manchester City to win us the FA Cup. Um, yeah, so about vaccines though. Um, the, the, I think the, the sort of the anti vaccine narrative is, um, it, it also I think is, is, is somewhat about um, vaccines being somehow unnatural, uh, which they are in some ways. But, um, but again, when you've seen, um, when you've seen what, what rotavirus does in the developing world, like a $3.50 rotavirus vaccine is, is, not just a, um, uh, is not just a good thing, it's a miracle. Um, and that also goes for, I mean, it, it's astonishing to me to see measles outbreaks and, um, and, and that sort of thing in the U.S. Uh, we, can, we can treat measles so I, I guess it's okay I mean you, you, you're a child is getting unnecessarily sick which is always a shame and there's expenses associated with that that are far, far higher than the expenses of just vaccinating but um, it's especially a shame in the developing world because um, there in a lot of in a lot of places measles is much harder to treat mumps um, you know measles measles can be can be fatal for kids and it's just a totally unnecessary death um, and you know, seeing seeing people die unnecessarily is is infuriating uh, to me. So that's that's my that's my argument for vaccines is that they prevent unnecessary deaths, especially the unnecessary death of children, um, which is you know forgetting the human cost. Like I think the kind of the most important thing that we can do as people is to allow uh, our kids to grow up healthy um, and vaccines dramatically increase the chances that your kids will grow up healthy. Uh, whether whether you're in Ethiopia, like the families that I met who were, um, you know, who were getting the rotavirus vaccine, or whether you're in, again, I made a save uh, when I was offside. That's my specialty, the offside save. Um, yeah, whether you're, whether you're like, like the families I met in Ethiopia who have had to, uh, you know, had to work for decades to get... Um, to get these to us very inexpensive vaccines available in their communities, or or whether you're um, whether you're in the U.S. and um, and they're you know they're sort of readily available through insurers and extremely inexpensive relative to relative to you know GDP or whatever. So yeah, that's my that's my take. Um, I was really hoping that Green Eggs and Sheringham or these boots were made for Strutton would get a goal. Um, but let's, let's pause uh, to be grateful for their many gifts to the Wimbley Wombleys over the years. It's been a wonderful run. Maybe we'll see them again, but we may not. And uh, if we don't, then uh, we're very grateful uh, for all they did to get us out of League Two into the championship. We wish them the best in their future. A hat trick from beautiful Houdini. Who? Houdini. Uh, Amonqua Amonqua. Uh, gets a wonderful um, clean sheet, uh, and all is well in the world of the Wimbley Womblies. Thank you for watching. Best wishes.